Congratulations to the class of 2023. Congratulations. Guys, law school is over. It is over. It cannot hurt you anymore. <laughs> That's our girl. Look at him go. Georgetown Law's 2023 commencement speaker, our own Savannah. Not only did you give the speech, you got to spend the weekend there uh, at your alma mater. Fill us in. Oh, my it? gosh. It was so fun. My girlfriends and I, we all got together, saw old professors. This is a dream come true, not only to be invited, but to congratulate these law students who I know are going to go out there and change the world for the better. And as mentioned, as a bonus, I got to reunite with some of my friends who helped me get through law school. This is the Georgetown Law Class of 2023. Brilliant minds ready for the future. More than two decades ago, the caps and gowns were on me and the dear group of friends that got me through law school. Ladies, you brunch! This weekend, we reunited. Can you believe it? Can you guys believe it's been 21 years? No. And I remember us just like being so grateful to have each other first year of law school. I remember trying to be Lindsay's friend and she really resisted being my friend for a long time. Oh. You were too busy sitting in the room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't quite sure because you were like, oh, yeah. she seems really intense. Yeah. Yeah. So that was fear. Yeah. Now you know me. Well, that no, was total God fear. We're taking those notes because that's, that's how I got so. through law school, <laughs> actually. Well, she would get up at four in the morning in law school. I mean, you really did. This whole waking up early thing is like not just a Today Show thing. No, we we all worked really hard. We were all terrified. We were all petrified. We were all pushing ourselves as hard as we could push. And we all found out what we could do. And I think that's the value of doing something like going to law school. That's what I'm going to try to tell the, the students today. Yeah. You know, like push yourself, stretch yourself, find out who you are. This is the only way you have to do it by doing hard things. Guys, we're going back to law school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We were welcomed back by Dean William Trainer. These are all my law school besties right here. And a familiar face. Fran was one of my professors. Yes. And my good friend. We stayed friends all these years. Oh, the first person I cold called. So it was a class of, I don't know, 125 people. I thought, I want to call on someone day one, but I don't want to intimidate them too much. So I cold <laughs> called on her in the middle of she was in the middle of the room and shocked that I called on her. But she was a great student. Our trip down memory lane cut short as students started to line the halls for the procession. Time to suit up. All right, well let's do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Hi. I had not set foot here in 21 years. But if you happen to see my old self walking around today, I was hoping you'd tell her a few things. You'll recognize her. She's the one with the frizzy hair and the doe-like expression and the posture like Quasimodo from lugging that con law book around. Do you know the one I'm talking about? It must have weighed 75 pounds alone. Here, I brought it. Are you kidding me? That's one book. Do you guys even use books anymore? I worked in local television news, rising from market to bigger market with my reporter's notebook and helmet hair and red blazer when I decided to blow it all up and go to law school. Lesson one, high school slackers can turn it around. Lesson two, don't play it safe. There is no substitute for what you all are about to experience. You have the chance to take everything you've learned these last three years, every part of your being, not just what you know, but who you are, your personality, your character, and take it out for a test drive. Push yourself, stretch yourself, see what you can do. Put the pedal to the metal. Your story is just beginning, or at least a thrilling new chapter. What a surpassing joy it is to stand here with you and root for you beckoning you into your great future. If you do see my old self walking around somewhere today, this was what I was thinking you could tell her. Don't worry so much. Don't sweat every tiny thing like it's the ultimate end-all, be-all thing. Except for the two-tenths of a percent I missed summa cum laude by, I am still mad about that. <laughs> tell her 
It's good to have a plan, but it's also good to take it, rip it up, and do something wild and daring, even if it feels like you're taking everything you've worked so hard for and lighting it on fire. Tell her, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> maybe law school was a big gamble for you, as it was for me. Or maybe it was your safety net. Maybe it was your way of avoiding the scarier path. Whatever the case, I'm telling you, anything interesting you want to do, anything meaningful you want to accomplish, it is waiting for you. It is possible for you. But it is on the other side of a big risk, on the other side of a big bet. No, not crypto. <laughs> a bet on yourself, real skin in the game. It might work out, it might not. But the riskier step will be not to try. I'm so proud of you graduates. I'm truly honored to be here. Because I was here once, I know exactly what it took for you to get to this moment. I'm looking at every single one of you and marveling, and I am cheering you on into your brave, wild, and wonderful future. Congratulations. I'm done. Oh, you're so cute. No. If those kids are going to give you a standing O, oh, oh, we are so sweet. Two. These are amazing oh students, and it was so, so cool good. to get to speak to them. Wow, and it was clearly, first of all, it was motivating for them, but you were so moved oh. like, to be in that setting again. I can't again. believe how moved yeah. I was. I mean, I, when I walked out, because I... I, when I came to Georgetown, mm -hmm. I was a kid from Arizona. Mm -hmm. I never dreamed I could ever hmm. be a student there. And to walk out 21 years later in my cap and gown, not only a graduate, but now to get to address that, I really, I, I felt that moment. I just reached over to Dean Trainer and I yeah. just said, thank you. You know, you were so much to me. Them. They, they know that you know exactly what they've been through. <laughs> oh. And did you see the guy say, she brought a prop. <laughs> Ross a very good speaker. That book does weigh 100 pounds. By the pounds. way, I just want to comment on your comedy timing. That's I'm insane, into it. Like, right? I'm sorry, the rim shots were were crazy. I think you should watch Savannah's whole I commencement agree. address. It's full of great knowledge. I'm a person who, when I'm in a funk, I look for commencement addresses. You I got me like, doing that. Listen yeah, to graduation uh, They lift you up. This one's got it all. Humor, heart, and the, and the rest. It's at today.com. Oh, Send it so around. Fun. Congratulations, class of 2023. How awesome. Wow. Cool. All right. Dilly dilly over to you. Savannah, you just have such a knack for this. Oh. I mean, anytime you give a speech, you need to mm -hmm. stop what you're doing yeah. and just listen. listen. Oh, always so nice. Inspirational. I listen to your weather that way. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> stop everything. <laughs> so stop what you're doing right now. Here's the forecast for today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.